Change is hard. Middle school is harder. That's the subtitle to Alterations. Alterations is a graphic novel that is fun. And fun is one of those elusive qualities that MG Lit readers sometimes can't find, and they use that as their lack of it to not read. This is a fun graphic novel, though, and its content is going to be fine for those upper elementary school kids who maybe want to read but can't find their jam. You look at the cover to Alterations, and to me, it looked like a DNA helix at first. And I'm like, no, look closely there, dude. It's... A roller coaster ride. It's a roller coaster. And that's part of the subplot to Alterations. The young kid, the titular kid in the book, in the graphic novel. It all leads up to his school taking a trip to an amusement park, a theme park where there are rides. And of course, where there are roller coaster rides, sometimes the kids may be a little scared to go on them. That's the, that's the climax of it. But what leads up in Alterations is something that every middle school kid or elementary school kid or high school kid will uh, empathize with, and that is that your family is weird. You have the weirdest family, bar none, and they will stop at nothing to embarrass you. They have a business that's weird and completely outside of the vein of reality, and everybody looks at you, and you have no friends, and life is tough, and nobody has it worse than you because you got to walk uphill both ways to school. And the Earth is coming to a big climactic ball of fire end in your reality, isn't it? Yeah, middle school kids think like that sometimes. Yeah, they they see their totally worst case scenarios sometimes because change is hard. Middle school is harder for some kids. This is a fun graphic novel, though. Don't take my <laughs> my hyperbole <laughs> to say that this is bu a bummer graphic novel because it's not. It's a very fun graphic novel that's written and presented in the way of a, a classic comic strip. It's even drawn that way. When you look at it, it's like you know the characters because they're drawn in a very friendly, casual manner. The story is obviously fiction, but the story is a fun, goofy story that kids will laugh at. And they will understand it because the boy, the titular character, he sees himself as an alter ego. That's a bit of the story. It's a fun graphic novel, one I didn't expect to like as much because I thought it was a graphic, uh, I thought it was a graphic novel all about the DNA helix. And it's not. It's much more fun than that. This is Alterations. It's going to be great for upper elementary school kids all the way through middle school, even you high school kids who just want a good fun read about a family that's much weirder than yours and you didn't think that was possible because your family is the weirdest one on the block. This is Alterations.